So you've finished creating a beautiful skin and now you want to submit it to the workshop. In this video, I will go over the process of preparing the images and videos which showcase the skin and show how to upload the files to the workshop in Steam. But quick note before we begin, if you're struggling to create the skin or view it in-game, then I strongly suggest you check out the skin tutorial I created. Link is in the description. When you view your skin in-game or in the workbench, press F12 to take screenshots so that Valve and the community will be able to see your skin. These screenshots will be saved in this path. I'll write it in the description so that you'll be able to copy it easily. Open this path and move the files to a folder where you'll keep all your files in order. Next, we'll edit the images by zooming in on the skin. The pictures in the workshop have a limited area to appear in, and therefore it is important to make the best use of that area. If you keep the pictures untouched, then 75% of what you'll be showing will be irrelevant. So to do that, open the files using the Windows Photos tool or any other photo editing tool, then crop the picture and only keep the relevant part which shows the skin. Apart from screenshots, you can also capture videos when viewing the skin in the game. To do that, press the Windows button and R. To stop the recording, press the same buttons again. The videos will be saved in the videos folder under the computer's user folder. Now let's trim the videos in order to make them short and to the point. I do this using the movies and TV tool provided by Microsoft in Windows. Click on the edit button and move the pins to the relevant points. When the videos are ready, we will need to turn them into GIF files, because the only file formats that the workshop accepts are JPEG and GIF. So in order to do that, there is a nice web app called EasyGIF that turns videos and pictures to GIFs for free and without the watermark. Go to the easygif.com and choose a video, and click on Upload. When the video is loaded, you can choose to increase the size and the FPS of the GIF, but keep in mind that this will create a large file. Click on Convert to GIF, and after a moment, the file will be ready. Then you can do some editing to the file like cropping. As I did with the pictures, I also do with the GIF files and only keep the minimum of the screen to show the skin. When you're done, right-click on the GIF and save it. We can do the same with pictures. Here I took screenshots for everywhere state of the skin and will turn them into a GIF. The workshop has a file size limit of 2 megabytes. Therefore, large GIF files won't fit in the workshop. However, as a workaround, we can post the GIFs in the description of the workshop item by embedding a link for the files. In order to have links for the GIFs, we will need to upload them to a site that provides image hosting services, such as Imgur. So if you don't have an account there, create one, then upload the files there. In order to get the link for of a file, click on the three dots and choose Get Share Links. The one you need to copy is the BB Code Forums one. Apart from screenshots taken from the game, you can also render images from your favorite 3D tool. This allows you to render images from angles which are not available in the game. It also allows you to create close-up images and emphasize certain features of your skin. You can use the images taken this way in order to create the thumbnail of your submission. For the thumbnail, you need to use an image that shows your skin clearly. Remember that thumbnails are very small and need to stand out between the other thumbnails. So choose a good picture and give it a background with a good contrast. You can add other stuff to the image like a frame or anything that can bring more attention to your item. When exporting the file, make sure to set the format to JPEG and not PNG. Now we're ready to submit the skin. We can either submit the skin from the workbench or by choosing the workshop publish. For this video, I'll choose workshop publish. We can now click on the add button, which will give us the publishing dialog. Fill in all the fields of the dialog. As I mentioned before, for the thumbnail, make sure that the file format is in JPEG format because PNG files are not accepted. When we choose the TXT file of the skin, the fields for the VTF files will be filled automatically, but you will have to fill the TGA file fields manually. For the title, you can add any text you want, 
but the vast majority of people write the name of the weapon followed by the name of the skin. For the description, I usually prefer to prepare it in an external text editor and copy-paste the text here. When you're done, check the checkbox below and then click Publish, which will prompt a verification pop-up that ensures that the skin has no copyright infringement. Write the words I understand as they appear in the dialog and click OK to finally publish the skin. The publishing process can take a few moments, and when it's done, the game will open your default browser straight to the skin page in the workshop. Before the skin goes public, Valve reviews the contents of the submission to make sure that there isn't any harmful or inappropriate content that goes against their guidelines. Also, the skin will not be public until you finalize the distribution of revenue among contributors who worked on the skin. But before we do that, let's add the pictures of the skin by clicking on Add and Edit Images. Here you can add the pictures of the skin, as well as any YouTube videos relevant for your skin. You can also add a Sketchfab model if you want. Final step is to finalize the revenue as I mentioned a moment ago. At the bottom of the page you can add contributors who worked with you on the skin and add the revenue percentages you agreed upon. If you worked alone, then you can simply hit the finalize button and click OK. And this completes the process of skin submission. From this point onward, we wait until Valve reviews and approves the submission. Then we wait for the community to cast their votes and share their comments. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you like my skins, please take a moment to give them a yes vote. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel as I will be releasing more videos about skins, graphics, and gaming in general.